we have, as far as I understand, issued the summons. Um, I th I'm not sure if it's on today's date or yesterday, but we, we have issued it. Is that in relation to both persons? Yes. Sir, explain to us how does this um, act from the 1960s assist the committee in this particular instance where these people are refusing to accept the invitations? Well, the, the 1962 Act um, gives the, the legislature uh, certain powers and privileges and um, part of that, um, well, it does give the legislature powers and privileges, uh, speaks to the powers of the Senate to call witnesses, etc. Um, how, it is directly, how it directly affects us is that um, when these laws predate the Constitution, there's a constitutional provision which saves certain provisions, which saves all of the laws that existed prior to, to the Constitution, and um, except that where there's an inconsistency with any law, then, the, then that law must be modified so that the constitutional provisions are, are retained. A summons is a document which compels the attendance of a certain witness. Um, if person fails to attend who has received a summons, then there is a further procedure where the person may be detained and brought before the Senate. So I wouldn't call it a, I'm not sure if the, the language is, calls it a warrant at this time. Um, so I want to say that it is, I'm not sure, but there is a process by which you can detain some, the police can bring somebody to appear before the Senate. So what is the date by when uh, Mr. Chang and Mr. Tillett must appear before the inquiry? Uh, well, there's a certain, I can't say for sure because there's a certain time period that must elapse from the day between um, when you are served with summons and the date when you are to appear. So that really depends on when service is, is affected.